1992, pretty big year. Really? What happened that year? Uh, Clinton gets elected. <laughs> yeah. The L.A. riots. And Julianne comes into the industry. Well, take us through a typical day shooting back in 92. Okay. Typical day shooting back in 92. Um, well, we would come on set. Uh, I spent about two hours in makeup and hair. A wardrobe designer would uh, push and <laughs> oil me into my wardrobe. Mm -hmm. um, we would, uh, of course, lighting and everything was very te technical. We were shooting on film, mm -hmm. so everything took a lot longer. Uh, it, there was a lot of glamour involved. Um, pretty much my first scene was, and many after was just like that. Something that I think would be the complete opposite to what people think right. of it. People thinking back then people were probably banging on set all day. and But it's it like, it, like it is now, a business. It, it is. It's a business. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we have... Everything that a mainstream set has, uh, with the exception that the sex is real. Right. So you're here for dog fart today. You're mainly you're here. What top four or five hours? That a, a typical day back then was what twelve hours, ten hours? Well, it's, it, it can still happen mm -hmm. depending on the company you're working for. There's still companies that can shoot a twenty hour day easily, uh, <sighs> or and twelve hours for that particular company is. Um, a godsend, mm -hmm. you know, like, you're like, oh God, it was just a 12 hour day. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it still happens. Um, and I don't think that, I think it's pretty much been the same directors and the same companies that, mm -hmm. that would shoot that long because right. we try to take everything that a mainstream movie would do and make it work in a day or two right. as opposed to. A month or two. Two, you know? yeah, two months. All right, ready to do this for dog fart? I am ready. Thank you. You're always a wealth of knowledge. Thank you. <laughs>